comrade Major. It is private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. I will get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Move it! Hey, stop that, blad! It's just being over enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, товарищ. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Here? What about Comrade Korb? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Move it! You're a smart guy, so we understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you. Information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cool. Okay. But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us. Comrade General! Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence! He's Nitsky, one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade to the negotiation room. <laughs> Young man, let's dispense with the introductory probing and cut the chase, hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. But, as my spy, an operative. Just like those uh, musketeers. One for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Gorbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lunium must start learning how to improve his, uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Ah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! <laughs> Protocols. What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! You're a God damn it! Capucho. All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers! Just get everything out of him, and shoot the bastards! 
Then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my friend. Oh, I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Corbett! Fuck my father! And Morozov! And the revolution and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom! Believe me, I know. <laughs> I spent all my childhood hiding from my father in those vents! Well, good luck to you! Feigen, sit down, Corbett. Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information... I have a way of doing it without spilling the frontal assault is hopeless. But if we go underground in the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! <laughs> now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the Head Spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesnitsky bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One which makes him my current target. Yourself. I'll go stand there around the corner. Piss your pants already? <laughs> Let me watch your room.
Me alone? Come on, get to work, all of you. Yes, sir. Ivan, stay. Did you take care of the rats? I want them all burnt. Commander, we're not Nazis. Shooting is one thing, but we can't burn people alive. What do you mean, people? Shooting? Are you out of it? Aren't you talking about the refugees? What refugees? Let the special department handle them. I'm talking real rats, tails and all. They've multiplied like crazy. So you go and do it! On the double! Yes, sir. One moment. Yeah, I'm ready. What the? Then let's move along the leak. Too many slow, brother. What? Hell!
Did you accept the delivery and sign the manifest? I sure did. Where did you put the goods? Wherever it's... Please, Please go on. On. Enemy's Enemy's here. Attention here! Enemy close! Enemy close! down or your brain goes splat wait a minute artyom is it you i was able to send the report back to the order via my old acquaintance andrew the blacksmith at least miller will know that i am alive that i haven't completed the mission but haven't resigned from it either That's one serious pickle you're in. But I can help. I have friends, and they have friends, who can relay everything you tell me to your guys from the Order. So, now you must return home to Polis? Well, there's no direct route. Everything's cordoned off here. But I believe the Order has an outpost nearby. On the surface. The church and the marshes. Try that place. If we can get word to your people, they might meet you there. As for me, I started life anew, left Kuznetsky most, 
The Reds completely subverted the place, looking for traitors and spies, sending people to camps, or just shooting them. All because of the coming war. People are fleeing from Kuznetsky Most and their whole Red Line. Did you see the armored train the Reds are building? Well, we built something too, with the stuff the refugees are bringing. Here, take a look. At this baby, the boys even gave her a name. You can't help but fall in love with her. She did a swell job roaming refugees, but hell, you can't save everyone. So, take it. We have people in Venice, too. When you get there, find Woodpecker and tell him where you left our baby. Climb aboard! All right, start the engine. We're still tinkering with her, so the controls aren't perfect. But the lights are first class. No need to fear the spider bugs around her. And there's a lot of those in the far tunnels. You should go. It's a long way, so you shouldn't waste any time. Yeah. 